but it was great. It was really neat to kind of dig in on policy and to have the resources to be able to get the research done and to kind of find out what would really make Arkansas better. Making Arkansas better. Hello, and welcome back to the Alex 50th annual meeting here in Orlando, Florida. Joining me right now is Mindy McAlinden, legislator from the great state of Arkansas. Mindy, welcome. Glad to have you here. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. And I'm working and living in the great state of Arkansas. Were you always from the great state of Arkansas? No, I was born in Georgia, uh, but I moved every three or four years growing up, so I feel like I'm kind of from everywhere. But we have settled in Arkansas for the last maybe nine years, and so it definitely feels like home. Every three or four years, is there a military family there? My dad worked for Procter & Gamble. So. Oh, <laughs> what sort of fun things did dad make for Procter & Gamble? So my dad worked in the plants, so he made soap, he made coffee, he made Duncan Hines, peanut butter, Pringles, Olay soap, all kinds of stuff. Some really good stuff. Good That's stuff. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. But eventually you landed up in Arkansas. Yes. My, how husband, long? my husband works for Walmart. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. there you go. And how long have you been there? About uh, almost nine years. Nine years, and how long have you been in the Arkansas legislature? About six months. <laughs> oh, brand new, brand going new. out, yes, finding sir. your way. Have your first couple of votes under your hat now. I do I do? Was it how was it to what you were expecting when you out there in the campaign trail to what it actually was once you got there and it started was very doing different. it? Was very different <laughs> than what I expected. It, um, it was very fast paced. But it was very fun. Um, you know, it's a good, we have a good group of people in our legislature and a lot of freshmen coming in. I think we had 27 freshmen, maybe. Ooh, ha. So it was a big class. Yeah. So, it, but it was great. It was really neat to kind of dig in on policy and to have the resources to be able to get the research done and to kind of find out what would really make Arkansas better. Making Arkansas better. Just yeah. what you're looking for. Well, I guess one of the bigger issues uh, that I saw going through. We actually saw a video earlier today from Governor Sanders talking about, uh, I believe it was the LEARNS Act. The LEARNS Act, Like yes. I said, you're going through and pushing through the little bit of education choice for the students of Arkansas. It's a huge education choice for the <laughs> students of Arkansas. It was a huge reform that she did, major undertaking. Uh, probably one of the biggest reforms in the country. I'm really proud of her also being a freshman, if you will, as governor, and uh, just really came in and... Um, worked with a lot of different groups to try and make sure that they were meeting all the needs. We've got teachers now at a $50,000 starting salary, which is just amazing. It takes us from the bottom up to like top five wow. in terms of teacher salary. And so really focusing on uh, reading, getting kids reading at grade level. And so we've got some specialists that will come in and start helping those kids and really focusing on pulling Arkansas from the bottom of education up to the top. Yeah, and well, and as a mother of four, we saw one of your little ones yeah. running around here a little bit earlier. <laughs> yeah. I said, when it comes to education and the kids, that is a priority and something that you can actually offer on the expertise side Absolutely. as a legislator. It's a priority. And I actually homeschool my kids. My kids have been private school, public school, but I also homeschool. You are a glutton for punishment, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Keeps me busy. And one of the other big issues that we're seeing, especially down in the southern states, I'd assume would be true as well for Arkansas, mm -hmm. is uh, the, the big push on the ESG front. Yes. And uh, some of the states have been pushing back as well. And, yeah. and I assume Arkansas is pushing back. We are pushing back. As a matter of fact, I was able to run a bill this session uh, that basically protects our state pensions. And so what it does is it says, which it should be, but if you're investing as a state officer, you're investing the state pensions, um, you cannot take into account ESG factors. And so you really are, it's asking people to do their fiduciary duty. No. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. But that's what we're basically saying is do your fiduciary duty, but be sure that you are not taking these environmental, social, and governance factors into that investment. And beyond that, then, as you go to vote the shares, you also have to vote those shares with what's the best interest of the state and for the investors. And we've seen other states where that hasn't happened, right? West Virginia had an instance where their proxy was voting the shares against the coal industry, which in West Virginia is doesn't you know, make heresy, as much sense. Right? No. <laughs> so we wanted to be sure that didn't happen in Arkansas. And so this was preemptive. We didn't have any issues that we knew of, but we wanted to be sure we didn't run into any issues. And if I my memory serves me correctly, that does sound a little bit like some Alec model policy it that sounds we have. a lot like Alec model <laughs> policy. <laughs> I was very proud to run it. Absolutely. Fantastic. That's great. Okay, so now that you've gone through and your your session is over and done yes, with for the year? It is. What are we looking at priority-wise for next year? Or are you just taking a break right now and haven't actually jumped into that ship yet? Right. No, I'm still looking at some model policies. So I think there are some things that we can continue to look at on property rights. 
make sure that they're just trying to keep government from infringing on things that, that we need to do. I think the other thing to look at is energy policy. You know, the Biden administration is overstepping its bounds on energy policy. It's he signed an executive order to start dismantling our coal plants. And I'd like to see some legislation to stop that within our state and to make sure that if we do decide that coal plants need to be taken offline or other energy needs to be taken offline, that we are replacing that energy with like energy. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's one of the things, if you've been paying attention to what's happening over in Europe mm -hmm. and the decisions made by Germany, and they're now like trying to reopen the nuclear yes. plants that they shut down. And they're like doing more with the coal plants that they had shut down. That's right. Because all of a sudden, oh, what a surprise when they installed solar over in Germany. They found out that the sun doesn't shine that much in Germany. It's yes, a surprise. <laughs> so yeah. maybe it's not really going to replace <laughs> right. everything that we need. Exactly. But yeah, that, that has been one of the, the major themes, you know, whether it be in Europe or we've also yeah. seen throughout the U.S. where they make these decisions and push it forward with actually having something of equal value that's in right. place to replace it. That's right. And that's what I'd like to see. Just, again, protecting Arkansas. We do have... We have solar energy, we have uh, nuclear energy, and we have coal energy. But it's good to be sure that we are protecting those sources right now because solar is not going to make up the difference, as you said. And nuclear right now where we are is not making up the difference. So we need to be sure that we are protecting those industries and that we're getting heat and electricity to our, to our state. Well, yeah, day like today, you appreciate the air conditioning. <laughs> Six months from now when Absolutely. it's 10 below, you know, I'm going to appreciate that heat. And I'm, I'm not really as worried where it's coming from, whether it be electric That's right. or whether it be coal or nuclear or solar, solar or whatever That's it right. might be. That's right. All right. Well, thank you. That was Mickey. Mickey. I'm not sorry Mickey. about that. It's not Mickey. <laughs> this was Mindy McElinden. I was going to, I messed up the whole thing. <laughs> this was Mindy McElinden from the great state of Arkansas, finishing up her first year in the Arkansas legislature. And we're here with you one more time from the Alex 50th annual meeting here in Orlando.